Hello, welcome. Uh, I'm so excited that we are starting this series. And uh, if you are watching uh, this from YouTube, uh, thank you so much. And uh, if you are watching this uh, from the course, uh, thank you so much for your support. And I want to promise you that this is really worth it. Uh, you made a good choice and you're going to learn a lot of things from this app. Uh, I'm so really so much excited that we are finally starting on this app and it's going to be really great. Okay, so this is our episode one and we're just going to be having things that so systematic. We are going to be doing things as you know, I will be helping you to get all things configured and um, I wish you the best as you continue doing this course. Try to practice what we do. If you learn some concept from this app, you can use it to build another app as we are going to continue. As you are going to see, we'll be using some of these components you are going to be building together and like that, like that. But thank you so much uh, for signing up for this course and um, uh, we will be doing a lot and a lot. So. The first thing, I've spinned up a new Next.js app with TypeScript. So you can just go ahead and run a command, npx create next app at latest, npx create next app at latest, and then you put space, maybe medical app, something like this. This is going to be the name of the app. Whichever name you decide to make it, um, it's up to you. But this is the command I've run. And then uh, make, uh, TypeScript yes, yes, and yes. Um, uh, the, the, most of these things are predefined. I've not SRC. Uh, I don't have it. I just said no for SRC. And I have my app. Okay, so the only thing I've done, I've gone to my page, do TSX, and don't worry, we are going to walk through TypeScript together, just in case you are worried, uh, we'll be doing this, uh, all of us together. So you can see we have this, um, we have our medical app uh, here, that is the first thing, and you can see we have nothing I've changed. You can go to uh, this site and you can remove all this. And maybe you leave the body only. And in the body, we can put only the mean height. So you can just say mean height. And you can just say 100 UH. Okay. And then you can just go ahead and remove this. And also go ahead and remove all these here, just like that. Okay, so just for cleaning out this. Okay, and uh, that's it. That's it. And uh, now, if you just run this, npm run Dave, I end up having this. Okay, so you have we have a very clean slate nothing is in there in the app everything is good to start okay so the first thing i'm just going to encourage you to do is to go ahead before you start anything to go ahead and you create a github repository for this and this is just showing you now how you're supposed to do it in the actual way so after you have spinned up your app and is you haven't changed anything just go ahead and create for it a github repository so i'm just going to open a new tab and by the way don't get um don't get confused with all these uh tabs i will be explaining why i've opened each of them uh so let's just start with github so just simply head to your github i'm just going to go to my github and let's push this report to GitHub. And this is also to help those ones who still have issues with pushing the repository to GitHub. So simply just come here. I'm just going to give it medical app. 
okay if the name is taken you can change it i'm just going to make this private i'm just going to go ahead and say create a repository okay so the first step uh, they are just here we already have this one initialized when you create a new next.js app they will initialize it as a grid repository so we can just go ahead and start from uh, here so git init has been done uh, you can go ahead and add a readme okay you can just go ahead and create uh, this for instance you can just say echo and you can just do something like this did i copy this you can create a readme file or you leave it it's up to you okay you can just go ahead and create a readme file and yeah the good thing is they create this with next.js when you enroll a new app yeah we already have the this uh if if we didn't have it then it would do this okay so you can just see here this uh, the hashtag we have written it here uh it is there okay so you could just go ahead and remove of course all these things you have here you can just go ahead and remove those ones in your this you can actually just say hashtag a medical app as simple as that and then let's go ahead and push this to github i'm just going to say um you can just go ahead and do this git add git commit git branch and git remote so i'm just going to copy for one for git remote okay so start first one is git add okay and the second one is git and uh, by the way uh since we're here in git you know before i forget you can just go ahead and make sure in the future we might just forget to add the env here i've always forgotten all the time just add it there since i've remembered right now so just go ahead and say git commit minus aim and then let's say this is going to be our niche our initial commit initial commit as simple as that then go ahead and say git so here you could just say git uh migrate so this is why you say git branch they say git branch so this is to move it from the master to main and this was the old version of git where they used to use master as the main branch so we have to say git branch then migrate to main so this one will move to main and then from there we can do git add git remote add origin and then we push so you can say git push and you could just say upstream origin main okay so you can just push like that and this is going to go ahead and push our code to this so as it is pushing our code here i'm just going to go ahead so refresh here okay so the second thing just go to vasail so just go to vasail i'm showing you the really workflow you're supposed to use so right i'm just going to add a new project okay so you just go ahead and add a new project add new project i'm just going to add a new project okay so you can see medical up here import this and that's the good thing here you just simply deploy because we have no much things we have done in the app nothing it is still just fresh brand new so you have no issues with deploying that version of the app 
so just wait here and see um, just wait and see so we are deploying this and this um i'm going to be showing you how really to uh, scaffold your apps and this is the same thing you should be doing uh if you're doing your app whether you are given a project a big project start day one create a project initialize it and then push it to github and uh consequently push it to Vasail. Uh, so that you actually have no problem deploying it, that app in the first place because the more you wait to deploy your app you are adding in more stuff more stuff more stuff and then you finally have issues and you are configuring but right now it is very easy to configure and everything right now is good okay so now uh, at least in day one you can even send your client uh, the version of the app that is live and they can go ahead and they will be having uh, to trace you how much work you have done in a day and that one is just going to help me also open my Trello and uh, I can just like you can go ahead and list your tasks I don't know if you are just familiar with Trello but just simply go Trello, create a workspace, and then create a medical app here. And then just going to go ahead and just going to edit this to, uh, for instance, uh, create it. Uh, create. You can see here, scaffold the app. Scaffold. A new next js up okay so save uh, add another one so we just uh, scaffold a new app and then post the the new created app and then add so you're just going to right now start with the nav uh, bar so you can just say create uh, front end nav bar so you say front end nav bar because we will have the one for the dashboard okay so right now we have this and you already have some tasks which are already incomplete so we can just have this uh two are incomplete and now we are going to work on this um uh we're just going to work on this uh, na uh nav bar this is going to be our second thing here okay and then from the nav bar we will have the mega menu mega menu just something like that okay so let's go and work on our navbar so this is going to be the first thing we are going to work on so in my uh folder here i'm just going to go ahead and create components create a new folder i'm just going to call this folder components inside my components i'm just going to create my first component so to organize this we're just going to have a new folder inside we'll have ones which are going to the front end others are going to go in the dashboard so you can just have this and then you have also dashboard okay you could also have the globals that work both but this is with the front end ones so inside here i'm just going to add nav bar just like that dot tsx okay and you see rfc just like this and just put here h2 which says nav bar and then get this nav bar let's bring it to the layout okay so right away i'm just going to create my layout so that i don't get confused i'm just going to say the app i'm just going to have two folders the first one is going to hold the front okay and then the another one is going to hold the back 
Aquí subiese back just like this. Okay, and then in the front we have to create two things. We have to create first of all layout dot tsx. Layout dot tsx. Just like this. And then you also create another page which is like page dot tsx. Okay, and this is about the routing. Okay, uh, as we are going to see is that if you are just moving to any app, the the admin side and the front side, they actually have two different things. They, they have different layouts. So I'm trying to create these folders with these brackets to actually create. So for instance, we'll have uh, two layouts. One layout is going to be for the front. If you have watched any of my videos in the previous one, and let me just open here, but you can just explain from uh, here. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, create a new one here. So I um, just want to explain about layouts. Okay. So you could uh, just have two layouts. One for the front pages. And then we also want a layout for the uh, dashboard dashboard pages so these are the two layouts we need we need in fact there is this layout for these two and then we have one more actually one more layout so just to do this so this uh for all pages so we have for all pages both uh the front both front and back so we have this so all the visible front end pages they will have their layout so we'll have three layouts one for the all pages this is the entire app and then we have the one for the front end pages the pages that you see okay and then you have the dashboard pages that is also another layout so we need three layouts okay and the one that we already have by default when you create an xjs app this one becomes the general app this one is the the for all pages okay if you do anything in this one it will be detected on all pages and show you for instance in the front uh let me just remove this layout okay I'm just going to go ahead and remove this layout and in the page okay this is going to be now the home page i can just move this inside here let me also delete this so now this is going to move inside the front just like this okay and then uh, this side let's go ahead and put a new folder for instance dashboard okay and instead of the dashboard, you can just go ahead and create a new SA page dot TSX. Okay. Now the first of all, this uh these kind of brackets they, they signify that this one is not going to be taken in um is not going to be considered in routing, it's going to only it's just only separating the folders here, but it's not taking part in routing. So if you go back to the app. Uh, if you go back to our app here, we want the one that is locally, which is this one. You see, everything is still working the way it's supposed to be, even when a, this front it is inside the front because this front they are not seeing it in routing. They are only seeing this page to be in the app, okay? And then from the app, even this back is not counted. They are seeing dashboard. That means 
you can do something like let me duplicate this so you can just go ahead and do something like stroke dashboard just like this and i think we don't have anything inside the dashboard page just say rfc and let's say put h2 and you see dashboard as simple as that dash board okay so now they are saying 404 okay so right now if you refresh should be there now uh, let me wait a second uh, this has to be small not capital let's rename this small d and the naming conventions guys stick to small letters for pages let all pages be small letters otherwise you will have a lot of issues so you can just go ahead to dashboard okay so now you see the word dashboard now it's that this is a general layout if you go in this one for instance and i'm just putting like uh here before this okay inside this i'm just going to put here like h2 saying i am a general layout okay so this one is the overall layout of uh, raw layout so if you just do that you see it is here and if you also go to the front if you go back to the front you see here also on the front is saying i am overall layout so it means like this one goes into all layouts now we need to keep this one very clean the fact that now we just want one layout for the front pages and one layout for the dashboard pages okay so we have to create two layouts so inside the front i'm just going to go ahead and create a new layout and just say layout dot tsx okay layout layout dot tsx rfc okay and this one you can just see it is capital layout and then inside here you can just say takes in children and then you can of course also annotate children as to drain these ones just going to be react node just simply like this okay and then inside here just go ahead and put children as simple as this now if you put this one just going to see here like h2 i am front only pages layout so this should be only on the front end pages the fact that is in the same folder uh, or in the same group so this um the, the these kind of brackets create a group so this is a front end group pages okay you can say front end uh, front end pages group this layout is going to be inside here then in this the similar way in this one i'm just going to go ahead and create a new file which is also layout layout dot tsx just like this and you could just go and copy exactly what is in this one control c and put it in this one and then it just change here that i am maybe dashboard only dashboard only pages layout so let's just go ahead and see so export default okay so you can see on the dashboard we have two the design says i am overall layout and the design says i am dashboard only pages layout so you can see the one that is overall which is outside here it actually still works in all both dashboard pages and the front pages and if we just go to the home page we have it says i am overall layout and i am front only pages layout so this one is the layout that is going to work on only front end pages okay 
so now in this layout which is going to be the global layout like the for all pages we need to keep this one clean we only need to put things like uh which will affect the whole entire app like providers okay they will be coming in here if you are adding any providers they will be coming in with this one so this layout simply leave it don't just simply like add more things we'll be adding custom things in these other layouts okay so for instance if we are making the navigation the nav bar for the front we start putting this one if you are making the navigation for the dashboard layout we start put in this one okay so i'm just going to go to this front one and i'm just going to bring in uh instead of h2 i'm just going to bring in our nav bar here so just click and say nav bar and then uh if we check now we have nav bar okay so now uh where are we going to get nav bar so as you're just doing the app more especially if you're just like doing this uh you're going to design the app you can just go ahead and make tons and tons of research of how you want your app to look like now most cases you can get a master app that you are going to be copying most of the sections more especially from your competitor if it is just an app they are giving you to build check from the conf uh, from the competitor and look at the sections they worked on so you just first implement all those sections and just simply change the design of each section okay uh, that's how you can just easily get the this if they are giving you the the figma files and they have done the design well and good if they have not given you figma files and they want you to create it from scratch then you go and just get like maybe top five competitors of the company that is giving you the app and then come up with the sections that you need okay so for this case um i was looking uh for instance for the this i was looking up to this app okay this is the computer's app um like this is what the computer looks at this one as a competitor so we'll be looking at some of these things and we compare and contrast uh from this one uh, but we're not going to make it to look like this one uh simply because this one already exists we need to make ours but then we can just look upon this one so the first thing you're just going to work on is the navigation okay now if you look at the navigation uh nice thing they have on the navigation i think is this one okay but then we might just not adopt this one we might instead have a mega menu down here where they have this one here okay and then we're also going to work on this banner instead of putting it here we might put it on top there okay <laughs> so we are just going to work on the navigation so there are so many navigations you can just go around and look at the navigations how you want it to look like but stick to a nice clean ui okay so for instance they have a search here and a search here we are going to put a search in one place and this is going to be here okay and instead of putting it in two places we are going to put in this one place to avoid just this one to be congested okay so we're just going to go ahead so you can just go ahead and just move around looking at the different navigation menus okay look at different navigation now i was inspired by if you look at most nice nav bars whereby the hero section has the same color with the navigation i really somehow like that kind of concept we might just go with that and if you just go to these I always go to these component libraries they might not give you free components but then they can give you can look at the design you can copy the design and get something you want so there are many places with uis that you can check on you can go to landing folio that is one learning you can go to tailgrid.com you can go to frobite.com uh, you can go to tailwindui.com all those ones uh, have components that you are going to be looking at and some if we just get a free component from them they would have simplified our life we move faster where we can get a component for free we use it so that we move faster where we cannot we design it from scratch okay 
so the first one you're going to work on is the navigation so i just want us to adopt this if you look at these styles here for the hero section i really inspired by this hero section whereby the navigation and the hero section really have the same colors okay so we could just go ahead and uh, do that okay we could just go ahead and do that uh, just have like these uh, nice colors just like that so um we need to first get the home page now if you look at this one the navbar it, there is you have to have login somewhere okay we need to have the login and then the logo they're the most important things and then some other few links like this one revive land and maybe a sesame plus blah blah but in this case we just need uh some nice navigation now you could just get a navigation from this guys here uh leave alone this i'm just going how do i escape out of this just close here if you just go back to this uh, site and just click on, for instance, navbars, they give you one free navigation. Actually, this would work for us. Uh, nevertheless, I might not use this one, but this one is really good enough. You could just go here and get the code, the React code. They have it working. And if you just look at it, it's really good. Like, uh, it has this one. But down, there is no where you can have the sign in you have to add those ones by yourself another place you can get a nice uh, nav bar is the tailwind ui and if you just scroll to components you can see they have the hero sections okay they have hero sections and if you continue scrolling down they are going to set these how well they have the headers okay so you can go ahead and click on the headers and you can see that you have here a, a simple header like this one. Now, this one has even a mega menu like this one. Okay, so this can be really helpful. And they're using headless UI, and the thing looks really nice. If you just go here on small screen, you have it like this. Okay, you can just go ahead and minimize this, and you still have your login and you have this changing really nicely and on different places this is really scaling up really nicely now this would take us really amount of time but we could just like use this one okay now you could also ask do i need a mega menu uh on the main one because down we might just use a uh a menu so let's just go first of all go back to headers just like this okay so as i've said they have this you will see they have this one which has this which is really nice like to have okay because we're just going to have this and then we also have a mega menu now we might just not use this their mega menu because they also have a mega menu if you just simply go to, uh, I think, under application UI, <clears throat> they have these flyout menus. So they have this called flyout. Okay. But if you look at their flyout, it's actually the same, the other component. Okay. So, and for the mega menu, we'll not use this one. There is a better one I want us to use. Okay, there is one I just want us to use for the mega menu. But for now, let's just get this one inside and see if we can just get this one implemented. And then we will change a little bit in future. Okay, so just go to these headers and let's get to code. Okay, now this is the code. Now, if you first look at this, they have at headless UI React. So you could just go and come in copy this and in a new tab you can just go ahead and say add headless ui react just search for headless ui okay so 
the installation i think is npm of course these are just like powered by let's go to maybe the i don't know they have the installation do they have it here yeah so you can see here there is uh, you can install these uh packages so you can just go ahead and say install npm headless ui they are for view okay and then you can just go ahead and let's install this address ui react okay and then uh, that's the only one they have they also have hero icons react okay so they have these hero icons uh the one they use it you can just also just go ahead and see hero icons react i don't think they have it here uh discuss okay so you can just say hero icons react just like this so you can just go to hero icons uh let's go and see so there is this one if you just go and react and review there is documentation here okay and these are all by tailwind by the way and the must be installation and you can see installation is here npm hero icons react just install just like this okay and now after doing that then we can just go ahead and bring in our code so let's go to here it is here and let's get and get to this so you can just go ahead and click on this can you just think click on this yep and let's go and uh, still installing let's go to our navbar in the front end now knowing how to uh, paste this because you can see they have also there's export default function example we we'll change that so you just go and paste here everything and just go to where they have export default function let's make this one to be nav bar just like that okay so now to test out we can just go ahead and just test out and see if this is working we have some uh do we have some typescript errors uh, where we have function classes what are they saying uh, has any now we don't know this uh for sure but we could just give it actually any for now for it to work let's just give it any and we see if that is going to solve it um okay uh still yeah so it is gone okay for now because we don't know like this one is returning classes with filter body and dot join so yeah you just give it any for now and you can see the good thing uh some of these ones they are mapped so let's just go and see what we have on our ui and uh, this is for the dashboard and uh, this is for the front end we might be needing to use so since we're having use effect so down here we're having use effect therefore we have to make this one a use client so go ahead and say use client just like that let's go back and wait okay use client come on okay so we have this 
uh, even these ones are working if you want to leave these ones you can leave them but we have this one let's check responsive wise okay and let's taste and it is working really well look at this we have this uh, working already and uh, we can just go ahead and now start working on some few ones now that we are inspired and you can see this is not on the dashboard you don't have it this side of the dashboard which is really nice so i just want to go back to the place that inspired me here go back to the hero sections and i just want to show you something so if you just go back to these uh, hero areas uh, we just want it to be something like this okay i'm just going to have something like this so now i'm just going to go ahead and do some modifications like giving it a background so we can just go to this nav bar we are inside the nav bar and let me drop this down okay first of all i'm just going to get rid of uh this mega menu as i've told you i'm just going to work on the mega menu component so this one i'm just going to simply remove it i don't want it now for your case if you need this one you can just go ahead and stick with it it looks really nice okay um even me um i feel like i should leave it it really looks nice I don't know okay uh, let's first leave it stick around uh, we might just use it right now I just want to change is the BG so right now it has BG this now I just want to change this to BG for instance we are going to do customization of colors in the future but right now let's try BG maybe 800 I don't know how this one how dark is this maybe we just make it something like 900 like the most dark i guess um yeah that's i think the most the most dark is it 90 uh you could go to tailwind colors tailwind not ui customizing colors okay and just going to go to colors and you see we have blue we have blue which is stops on 950 so you can just go ahead and make this one 950 yeah, it's like getting the most dark one like really dark i'm not sure if we, we need we need it to be that dark just like that like uh, let me just bring this one closer is that that dark and then we can just go ahead and then our button for the login is going to be like this and then this ones we can make them to have uh, some other colors for instance we can just come to our ank tag okay we can just come to our ank tag so there is this pop of a group this one and uh, i just want to come here we have this login which i just work on this one okay we will just work on this one in a second um this is for i think for the mobile menu okay so just first walk uh, on this the main menu i guess ROG hidden pop over group so we have this button and then we have all these others products dot map and then down here we have call to action Then we have these other links here. Okay. 
we have these other links uh, in here now i don't know why we just need to what is this text gray 900 i'm just going to select it at once control a control h i'm just going to replace it with text uh, we could also use the use gray but 50. okay could just do something like this and let's see what we have here okay so we have this so far uh, that looks great and then we could just go ahead and also uh, work on this button the login button okay so we we'll just also search for it control and they just say login log is it login log okay so we have here uh, this one and just going to say log in there too so let's first go on this one and i'm just going to give okay bg first of all to be uh, blue maybe can we just say 400 or 500 we just say 500 okay let's say py to be 3 and a psx of 6 and let's also say rounded maybe md let's look at how this one looks like okay so this looks great okay that looks great and the overall the overall i'm not liking the overall py3 Now, as I've said, I'm just going to go ahead and remove this. I really don't need this one, I guess. Uh, let me just go ahead. And we have this pop of a panel. I'm just going to go ahead and remove this. I really don't need it. I just need these normal links. So this whole entire pop of a, I'm just going to remove it. Okay, pop over just like this. I'm just going to remove this. Okay, just remove that like that. So I just remain with these normal links, and I'm just going to go. So that means I don't need these products. Here we have these ones, I don't need them. And also call to actions i also did not uh, donate them now let's go and see what we have so far okay we have this can i just go right now go back to this i see if i want to broken anything okay of course this button okay so now we have this panel the disclosure panel down which still has this and I think we actually have here uh, down. This you can see. Okay, so we have this the this panel which actually spreads this. So let me just see. Uh, it is this panel. Which has here product, and then here disclosure. Uh, I don't know where other links. Yeah, so this whole entire thing. Let's remove it. Uh, is there any other place? I think we are good to go now. If for you want, you can maintain it. Me, I don't want it. As I've said, we are going to create a mega menu. So let me just click on this. Let me refresh. 
okay click here yeah so i think this is working you just need to change also the background in this so let me just also search for where we still have bg white okay so we still have this bg white i'm just going to change this to bg blue 950 okay and then we have also to change the icons uh, the colors of the icon for instance so this is the cross menu icon which is this one so it has to be text to gray 50 also so let me just also select what it is this text gray 700 ctrl a there too and ctrl h we just need to replace it with that okay let's see yep so this is looking great now down here we have this this uh, line which is between company on the small screen okay so there is i think they use the divide they use a divide let me see yep so they use the divide so you can just come here and say divide gray so just give it uh, five hundred and this one i think it is opacity okay um let's try 300 and uh, let's see that okay yeah i think that is like maybe much better um divide gray do i really need to give it this say 200 let's see okay i think that one could be even enough i think but you could just also take out this okay and then maybe make it 300 I should just like leave it there to maybe 20. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So just go with that. So this uh, is great. Uh, this is great so far. Uh, the only thing I just want is that padding the where they have padding they just go and check on that so if you just go on this big we have mx max with this this p uh, y uh, here is p is six they just reduce this to something like four okay for px eight is okay yeah so you can understand it has moved up which is really nice Okay, so the navigation, uh, we have this one, we can have other menus in the center and the login is all proper. Now we want to go ahead and put this, the hero section, something like this, which really matches really very well. So for the navigation, we are done. I can just go to uh, this. Uh, the navigation front end navigation we still have some things i guess to add in like the links to make the links but so far is done this is just going to work on the mega menu but before that i just want to make on the hero section let's add a new card 
hero section okay add i'm just going to drag this on top i'm just going to work on the hero section first before the mega menu so for the hero section we just need it to be exactly look the same like this the, the colors we shall customize that color uh, just in the future but for now I just want to add something here down now we just we are looking up to this something like this okay but of course we'll modify i will show you the modifications so let's go and get the hero section and we can just get it from the side and we start from there so close this scroll up to this free one so we have this free one just go to this so you can just take this one this one we don't need the header so just go to this react code so they have the nav bar which is nice now this other part is what we want okay in fact you could just go ahead and copy this hero section and let's go here in the front let's put hero.tsx hero.tsx and you see paste this okay you can paste this now you can minimize this also so the other things we're just going to remove there is single image we're just going to annotate this in a second i think they use them for the nav bar we can just remove the nav bar we don't need the nav bar it is also here they went ahead and i put it so if you still want the nav bar they have you covered okay you can just put this nav bar this uh, simple one i'm just going to go ahead and remove this i don't need it okay and i think this list item was used also in the nav bar i guess uh, let me hope so they just a second so if you just say control this and you say list item i think it must have been in the nav bar yeah so this is in the nav bar so i don't want these two things just like that and then uh, remove also this okay and what is this okay just remove things like that let's go ahead and see if this is the one is using the image section okay there is this single image single image single image just like that we shall just go and remove that so single image is annotated this are uh, all string you see here and they say hrave is a string and then you can put comma image source is also a string just like that okay okay so we have no errors right now okay we should be good to go right now it should be good to go and even if you remove these uh, these ones you simply cut this and remove these fragments okay so now let's go ahead and see and use this hero so now they are exporting default hero here okay great just go to front page now instead of this medical app first of all i'm just going to remove this okay and then what it is this h2 go ahead and put the hero like that import from components and let's see how this looks like uh, just go here and voila we have it here uh, though you, as you can see we don't have the max width on it let's just go ahead and do that so you could just go ahead and put here a max width of maybe 
six Excel. You could first try this. This is eleven fifty two. And of course, make sure it is in the center by giving it MX Auto. Okay, so this is great so far. Then there's a lot of padding wire, I guess. So if you just go in the hero, uh, inside here, let's look at the padding top. It is padding top. I think it's just because they had a fixed. Maybe the nav bar was fixed or something. They have this uh, padding top of 120. Okay. They have this whole padding uh, top of 120. We could go ahead and remove that. Let me see. We need space. Maybe let's make it 50. Let's first try like 50 and on even here 50 for now let's see mm, okay so we have that of course in top here we're just going to put some other things then we want to make all this one blue okay so you could just get rid of some of the things like these two buttons here we will just go ahead and get rid of this one and okay we we'll just go ahead and get rid of that like these buttons we are going to put some other things here uh, let's look at this okay there is these big buttons okay we can just also have them maybe leave them there uh, where is this okay these buttons we can just leave them there but we suggest maybe then instead we remove this our client part some of our clients we will just remove that so just go here which says some of our clients so we have these two buttons and then down here we have this D which says some of our clients we said just remove that it's this one okay so here we're just going to put a search bar so i'm just going to say search bar here okay and we'll just make sure the search bar goes on top of the buttons or the links those one search bar will be there the next will be these cta uh, buttons okay now want to change this into bg blue 950 okay uh, blue 950 now I don't know why we need to change the text uh, where can we change the text color this is why they have this text body color I think they have their own customizations uh, how many people have this used this? This is only one. Let's first look at this. Okay. Now we need this to be in the whole section. Okay. Okay, so I can just go to the section. This go to... To the section what we could also do is instead of putting this from the page max width let me just cut this so right now if I cut that yeah we shall be having it like this but let me just go inside the hero section uh, here so I will have now another div so I will have a div with this class name okay and then let's go and minimize this 
and the break inside here oh um wait 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 so just a second just a second so this one let me just put on this what the max with it so we have to put somewhere max with it so i just simply just going to put the max with it on this max with is six x here max with is six x here mx auto so this bg blue it has to be outside so i'm just going to create another one it says dot bg blue 950 something like this and then this one will be inside the one who is max with it we can remove it from here let's see now yeah so we still have this but the color is the same now now we need to change the text of this uh, what is for instance where we have this text dark okay so control a control h so it's going to be text gray 50 okay Yep, so you can see this one is now okay. Then we have this description. So this description is going to be what? Um can just go here also on this. This one should be text gray by uh, fifty. Could even even make it like maybe for it 100 okay so we have in these two buttons okay so we have these two buttons now we need the search so now for these two links py is three uh, I think BG blue BG blue <laughs> let's just say maybe 700 uh, instead of BG primary we shall just actually work on this BG primary but right now let's say blue 600 let's see okay so this is great then for this download the app let's see uh, inline flex center just pyp i'm saying it doesn't have the bg It doesn't have the BG. We could make it just white. We just say BG. Oh, BG gray 50. Just like that. Oh, it's just like a text. I think we just like a text. Let's first look for where it was here. Preview. Yeah, it was just a text. So yes, all this. We just simply give it text. Gray. 
50 over text primary dark text white so over we make it text blue 500 okay okay so far so good so far so good okay the only thing that is missing is going to be the search of which we will put the search from uh frobite so just come here and say search the search input okay and we need this one which has this inside to imitate a even this one there is also the one i had seen somewhere where is that i think was it this no uh where yeah something like this want it nice like this okay so that's why i need a search like this one we could just also go see others no 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 so i just need this search this one so you can just start by copying this and then for the search we can also make it a component so just come here and say search search bar dot tsx rfc and let's say return just going to return this form okay so let's go ahead and say for instance class replace class Control H, uh, just going to replace it with class name equals just like this. Not not just like that, just like that. Replace everything. HTML4, I think is only one. Yeah, so change this to HTML. HTML4 now for this is the search icon let's just replace this with the actual search and let's install also roasted icons let's go and say npm install roasted react so just install roasted icons will be using also in conjunction with the hero icons now that we have the hero icons we can also take advantage of that you can go here and you say search for instance okay so you have like this outline which says magnifying glass the problem with this is that the uh, let's see if i just try to select magnifying glass magnifying oh okay so magnifying glass i'm having here from suggestion from the hero icon i'm not sure if that is the one magnifying glass circle no do we have some other magnifying glass i don't know like There are so many magnifying glasses. Hmm. Magnifying glass icon. I think you just need this one. Outline. And let's go ahead and give it the class name. This class name entirely the way it is. Just give it to this one. And I'm just going to remove this circle. And I can just go to remove this SVG. OK. 
okay and for the input everything is okay and i'm just going to go ahead and use this search in the hero so in the hero before this we have the search bar here so i'm just going to say search search bar just like that now let's go and see what we have so far okay so this search is there and the icon is also there okay uh, just going to work on uh, that for instance we can just make the roundness on the input so i guess this is on the input it has rounded energy you just see rounded full and the same to the button this one it has rounded somewhere around it uh, rounded full okay let's see now okay so we now have this uh, just something like this now the magnifying icon is also small uh, we we'll could just go and give it more to this maybe six and see okay that's fair now for this we just need also to install um i'm just going to install uh, the tailwind forms uh for these forms to be looking nice so you can just go ahead and just see tailwind forms i'm just going to say tailwind forms like tailwind form plugin just is here okay so i can see the time is winding this is the last thing i'm going to do to stop this episode here okay so i'm inserting the forms the next thing is to require this okay and then place it in the tailwind config okay so inside the plugins here put this one now this one can make our forms look much better okay so let's go back here and let's refresh now you can see that the ugly border has gone now we have a nice a nice outline like this okay now we have to give some margin bottom to this uh, to the buttons okay oh some margin top instead i guess so you could just go to the hero to where we have this we could just have like margin top of maybe six and we could see what happens yep so right now we have this uh, section and this somehow must be responsive except this <laughs> the uh, this we still have some things to work upon but so far so far this is responsive okay we're just going to uh, have some things to work upon but so far so good okay so far so good uh then we also have to work on this i think there is some responsiveness of this we have to work on i can see it disappears here it's looking nice and look at that so we already have like the scaffold of what we want so far okay so i'm just going to go with this and push it and see if we have any errors so far so i've told you so just say git add and just say git commit so we added the number and hero sections just like this and just go ahead and push 
So git push. And this is going to be, we're just going to work on this very fast. We'll be working on this very fast um, so that uh, this application, the owner gets it in time. So right now, let's just go ahead. And this is building, I think, on Vasail. Uh, if you just check, it is building. So uh, I know it's going to go ahead and build. If there are any errors, we suggest check them in the next video. Uh, thank you so much for watching this. So now, if you want to get the full uh, to watch the entire series, uh, just simply sign up for the course and I will see you in. And this is not going to be only up for the course. We aren't going to do only this now uh, medical app. We still have two more apps. Uh, I think two or more three apps to do in this course. So it is really worth it. If you see the uh, the figure there and you be, might be wondering and I might make it flexible. If you want to only sign up for only this course, like for only this episode, it will be okay. Uh, for this one, uh, we can just also look at the price for that. If you want to learn all the apps, then we can also look at that. But right now, this has updated. Let me just come here and refresh just like that. Okay, guys, so we are good. We are good. Look at that we have done in the first episode. And we are going to do, of course, customization is putting the stuff later on. But right now, this is good and we are built it from scratch. Thank you so much. Uh, let me see you in the next episode.